All right, so here's the upper dive pressure ring. This looks like a lot of complication, but if you've already gone through 5.5, this was one of the pieces that you had to make in there, and it's really not that difficult. So let's take a look at it again. Um, we're just gonna start from scratch, assuming that you did not look at my previous video. I'm just gonna make a brand new one. So we'll start off with the outside diameter of this ring is 3.0625. So let's go back to Inventor, make a new part, always want to start on the origin, we said 30625. And let's extrude that out right away, it has a thickness of 0.3125. Let's make a new sketch on here. This has a diameter of 2.0625. And this piece is cut out to have a thickness of 0 0.031. And then we get to these parts, which are a little bit trickier, but not too bad. Uh, the first one has a diameter of 0.875, and it's up a distance of 1.3125. Just going to make a new sketch on this surface, 1.3125. distance away from the center, 1.3125. Extrude that out. Looks like a distance of 0.531 from the back of this piece. Or, yeah, let's just do this. All right, so Luckily, Inventor does simple math for you. 0 0.531 minus the thickness of what this piece is, which was 0.3125. And there's the appropriate distance for you. Now to make the little round nubby on top, go to your origin folder expansion. Find the plane that cuts through the middle of that cylinder make a new sketch on it. You can either use F7 or right click and choose slice graphics. There's a reminder that F7 is the other key to use. Project the geometry of this half of a part. And use a circle to snap to the end point. lines to bound it and trim off the parts that you don't need. Then you can go back, revolve just that feature around this is your axis and you have the full shape. You need three of these. Instead of trying to figure out where they should go, we're just going to make a 3D circular pattern of both the revolution and the extrusion rotation axis can be this big round axis here and we only want three. On the back side of this towards the bottom we have another extrusion here it's located down 0.6875 and the diameter is 
and this is going to be extruded out a distance of 0.875. Same thing we did before. We'll find the plane that slices through it, make a new sketch on it, slice your graphics, project the geometry of that cut line, use a circle on the midpoint to go out to a corner, use a line to go from the midpoint of the circle to the bottom quadrant and to the right quadrant or I guess any two that'd be on the top of this. Trim off the things you don't need and revolve. Okay, now we just need two holes and it looks like this one has a countersink. So let's go back to this sketch. I know that one of my holes is going to be right on the midpoint, the other one's directly above it. And these are a half inch apart. It tells that to me here. From center to center is a half inch. And this is the center mark for the entire circle and that's where this one is placed. Okay. Let's finish our sketch. This is the easy one. So it's a 0.25 distances through all. It is important to go ahead and change these and not just leave them as big numbers. When you go to uh, dimension this later, if you choose through all, it'll mark it as a through hole. If you choose distance and leave it as one inch, It'll say it has a depth of one inch, even though the part is much thinner. So make sure you change it to through all. I still want to see that point, so I click the expand next to hole, make this sketch visible again, click on the point. And you'll notice that here you have kind of a V shape for the countersink. That's the same V shape that you see here. Major diameter. 0.344 your through diameter is 0.25 click OK let's turn this sketch back off again and it says it's rounded over 0 0.031 in both the front and the back so that is a fillet both the front and the back. Select apply. And the last thing to check, this is the upper die pressure ring. Upper die pressure ring is also made out of steel. Right click part four, I properties, physical, material type, change this to steel and save this as upper die pressure ring. 